Good morning. Today what we're looking at is this job. You can see there's been staining on the ceilings and the insurance company wants the water to be removed quickly. The problem is there's nowhere to put any more downpipes or anything like that. So what we're going to do is install the rain head to that front area to get the water away quicker. All right, let's get to it. So here's a little trick for you. Um, because the original downpipe was painted, it wasn't a color bond one, it was done with an oil paint. Use a knife to go around what you want to remove so that you don't flake the paint off the pole. Uh, this will have to be done as well to take the downpipe off the pole. Otherwise you'll find when you pull it away, you tear the paint away from it as well. So you'll see me doing that as I remove the downpipe. Uh, it's an easy way to do it. And you see down here, the downpipe started weighing at me. Um, that's actually the post. And the post itself was full of water. So it's been flowing back across the ceiling and coming down the post. So here I am just removing the paint. Um, later on you'll see I drain the post right down at the bottom but it certainly wouldn't help with uh, the post not rusting so that's why we had to drain all the water from inside the post Okay, so I've just marked that off the front of the gutter there before the curve starts. And I'll show you what I'm going to do when I hit the car. Okay, so I measured from the bottom of the gutter to where I want this rain head to stop, which was 95. I'm going to come down 95. Like so. And I'm just going to square it off. Now bear in mind as I draw on this, I've got plastic on it, so that's why I'm drawing across the front and I'm okay. But if I didn't have plastic on it, I would obviously be drawing it slightly different because we can't rip the plastic off later but to make sure that it's going to be completely clear. So I'm going to use this as a template because it's probably the closest I've got. And now I'm not back, I know I'm going to cut off the back and that will give me the curve. So, Okay, so that's the bit that's going over. So using that now, we can draw my pattern in place. One. Hey. So you can see those are the sections that are going to get cut out.
see how he fits. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's looking good. So I've just lined it up straight with the post, marked either side. So I know now where I'm cutting this gutter. Okay, just giving you a look there. Um, we've just cut a big hole for it all to flow out the water we're just going to seal these areas so that it doesn't get any backflow under there um, and then we'll be good to go we'll put probably a little bit in there just to get the water running down and into that rain head and then from there um, we'll put the rain head on okay i just want to show you how i bend down these two little sides here that's so when the water's running over it won't run back along the gutter it'll go to the lowest point and just do a little drip into the rain head and we just peel it and i won't show you that just get it done and put in your silicon Along there, Okay, so you can see in there, he's all fitted and we've just riveted everything in place. Got to put the straps on obviously, but we're just going to put some uh, white colour bond silicon along there. Close it off on both sides, just to give it a really nice look. And we might actually even just slightly rub some in here, so that it doesn't leak at all.
So there he is, he's all done. He's in. Nice, that'll take a lot more water. And the idea is, you'll see under there, he's just getting massive spillover into his ceilings and it's just destroying his ceilings. Also, he was having water in that post. So the idea is to stop that. And look, it's not ideal, but it's a way of getting a, a lot more water out. All right, till the next video, if you like this, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one.